Hi everyone and welcome, it's me, Joseph, the Lycanroc Ranger, and in today's video I'm going to be doing a small little theory, and that is why do you encounter more Pokemon in the Grand Underground once you have the National Pokedex for a reason that isn't just game mechanics? I have an interesting idea as to why that is, it's related to the conservation status of the Pokemon involved, so without any further ado, let's roll the intro, and let's get started. So one quick thing before we get started, works and images used will be in the description of the video. So the first piece of evidence I have is, quite simply put, the fact that this even happens in the first place. A large amount of Pokemon that just weren't there before, all of a sudden show up, and there's not much explanation as to why this is in the game, outside of game mechanics, in terms of when you got the National Pokedex. However, I do have a few more pieces of evidence that make this theory a lot more clear in terms of where it's going. The second piece of evidence I have is the fact that some Pokemon go from rare to normal after getting the National Pokedex. Again, this can be seen with some screenshots from Cerebi. Um, in the Rare Spawns tab for this one area in the underground, Magnemite, Lickitung, Rhyhorn, Houndoom, Swablu, and Absol can be seen. And just in this small segment of the National Pokedex section of that same area, you can see the addition of Magnemite, Lickitung, Rhyhorn, Houndoom, and probably the few others, but they're not quite in this screenshot, into the mix for that encounter table. So they go from rarer, but still potentially there, to a lot more common once you have the National Pokedex. So again, this does point to something related to conservation, which I will get into in a minute. So my third and final piece of evidence for this theory is how the National Pokedex is even obtained in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Cerebi states that it is given to you from Professor Oak after you've shown Professor Rowan a completed scene Sinnoh Pokedex. Now in my opinion, in order to have seen all 150 Pokemon in the Sinnoh Pokedex, you'd have to have shown a certain aptitude in terms of finding Pokemon in the wild, which is important for this theory. So what exactly does this theory lead to? Well, due to the fact that Pokemon probably just do not show up once you get the National Pokedex, they were probably already there to begin with, as seen with the rare spawns being there in that case. However, their populations were incredibly low, potentially endangered or critically endangered, so only a more skilled trainer, or a more lucky trainer in case of the rare spawns, would typically be able to find them. Since you would have had to have found 150 different Pokemon in order to get the National Pokedex, it can be assumed that these Pokemon begin to show up due to your expertise in finding Pokemon, not due to the fact you got the update, and it's just game mechanics in terms of when it triggers, but in reality, in terms of lore, you likely would have already started seeing them before you got the National Pokedex, but the game, due to game mechanics, only triggers it once you have the National Pokedex. And so that concludes my short little theory on why you encounter more Pokemon in the Grand Underground once you have the National Pokedex and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So what do you think of this theory? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!